Hello friends, my name is Ankush. In this video we are going to see how to install the Oracle 12C database with one pluggable database. So this is basically I am going to create one container database and along with that we will be creating one of the pluggable database. I am using Windows 7 64 bit. I have already installed, I have already downloaded the Oracle software from the Oracle site. So here you can see there are two files which I have downloaded from the Oracle site. I am going to create one folder here with the name DB. We need to unzip those file extract files and here we need to provide the path where we are going to unzip this folder ok now both these files are go getting unzipped to this db directory it will take some time to unzip so for the time being i am going to stop this video once this file get unzipped i will again the start the video from there itself both the files has been unzipped to this db directory now we can see there is one folder created with the name database if we are checking the size of this database folder you can see the size of this database folder is 2.70 gb while unzipping make sure we have selected both the zip files and it should be extracted to the same folder otherwise some files will be missing and it will be creating the problem while installing the database i am going to this database folder here i can see there is a one file named as setup.exe we just need to right click and then run as administrator So it is taking some time to open the window from that window only we are going to install the database software. While downloading the software from the oracle site make sure we need to check whether the operating system is 32 bit or 64 bit. There is no software available as of now for the 32 bit. Here you can see there is a prompt like please wait. So we need to hold on for a few seconds. Okay. Now you can see one window is coming on the screen. So from the on the top you can see Oracle Database 12C release one installer. First window it is asking whether we need to whether we are uh, wish to receive the secret updates from the oracle as of now i am not looking for any updates from the oracle side so i am unchecking this box click on next then i have clicked on yes 
so it is like uh, for the confirmation it is asking whether do you really want to go ahead without getting the security updates from the oracle side i am okay with that now it is checking for the setups so we do have three option here create and configure database install a database software only and upgrade existing database we are going to create and configure the database desktop plus i am using as of now second thing it is asking what kind of user you want to administrate the database so what i will do the use built in account so whatever the user id and the password for this windows the same it is going to use to do the administration kind of work on the oracle database i am not going to create any new windows user or i'm i don't have any any user existing so here i am going to use a windows built in accounts this is the mo most important place where our binaries will be going to install for me it is going to install in e directory i am changing this location so my oracle base is going to install file oracle base files are going to move to this e directory software location will be the e directory itself now it is asking me what uh, what is the name of the database i am keeping the database name as cdb again as i told earlier i am going to create this database as a container database and there should be one pluggable database here i am giving the pluggable database name as pdb here we need to provide the administrative password make sure the password there is some recommendation from the oracle side and we need to provide the password as per oracle recommendation otherwise it won't accept the password now it is checking the pre request site again this is going to take some time to check the pre request site if you want to use the, if you want to save this response file you can save so that for the next installation you can use this response file but uh, for my situation i am not going to save this response file so i am clicking on here install this is the last window for the oracle database 12c installation it will take quite more time as compared to the previous window i am going to stop this video for the time being once it is 90 or 95% then i will again start from the same location